hear from Bam. I figured this out, and now we're here. So, you know, it's a toss up now. Next question, Will Manso. Hey, Bam. Uh, Spo was almost offensive earlier in the postseason when someone kept asking, people kept asking about your style of play and whether you should be more aggressive. And he said, look, I'm a Bam's Bam. Stop trying to make up something else. But there's no doubt that your numbers have gone up significantly in the playoffs from all-star level to almost superstar level. I mean, what, what do you attribute that to? What has been the difference, you think, in your production? Uh, I don't know. Um, you know, to me, I feel like I'm out there hooping and just doing the right things and uh, making the right plays and uh, just holding myself accountable. You know, we're in the playoffs. It's a... Uh, this is win or go home. So, you know, when you have that type of that type of mindset, you, you got to go out there and back that up. And uh, I've been doing that, and I need to keep doing that. Next question, Ethan Skolnick. Bam, um, both Anthony Davis and Dwight Howard have been very complimentary of you as a player um, and, and kind of watching you, it, Dwight. Uh, Dwight went on for about – three minutes when he was in Miami, uh, when the Lakers came in about how much he just enjoys your style of play. Uh, what is the challenge for you against both of these players? Because you're going to be seeing, I'm, I'm sure, a, a lot of both before the series is over with. Uh, the shot blockers, you know, that's, that's, that's one thing that they're gifted with and shot blocking. So just, uh, not letting them off the hook, just staying, just staying aggressive. And then, uh, you know, my teammates over and just keep playing my style of basketball. Dave, right here on the right side, in person. Bam, staying on that same line of questioning, Jimmy and LeBron are going to get a lot of the attention going into this thing, but it, the series could hinge on the matchup between you and Anthony Davis. And, and how do you, do you view that? And then also going back to the K Kentucky connection, do you guys have any sort of rapport relationship through that? Uh, I mean, it, once you go to Kentucky, you, you'll follow it forever. So, you know, me going into Kentucky and committing, he probably heard about me, didn't know who I was, probably knew I was just a kid going to Kentucky. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, you never know. These series going to be fun, man. Like you said, it might be me and AD. It might be LeBron and Jimmy. So, at the end of the day, we just going to go out there and just play like we've been playing throughout these series and put together a 48 minutes of Miami Heat basketball or – even longer, if we have to. In person, Dan, over here. Um, you've been wearing the Kobe fives throughout the, these playoffs. You wore them in the, in the, the last game, I know. Um, it, his death this year, how did it affect you? And when you wear those shoes, do you spend any time kind of thinking about what he's meant to you or the game? Uh, well, obviously, you, 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 you know what he means to the game because you've seen everybody when they heard about it. Nobody wanted to believe that. I, it still doesn't feel real to this day, but uh, you see the effect that he had on the world. And uh, me growing up, I was a Kobe fan, Kobe fanatic. And uh, just getting, just being able to just wear his shoes and, uh, you know, it's my favorite shoe to play in. So I've been playing in them uh, th th this whole playoff run, so can't stop now. All right, our last question for Bam is from Kyle Tucker of The Athletic. Bam, what, uh, I'm curious, what's one specific thing from your time at Kentucky that you think most prepared you to have this kind of success this early on this big of a stage in the NBA? Uh, in Kentucky, when, when you play against rival schools, it, it's kind of like their, their Super Bowl. So whoever we play away or at home, they're going to give us our best game because they want to beat us so bad. So you can't be scared to be in those moments that define you, define your team. You can't be scared to live, live up for those moments. And I feel like that's the biggest thing that helped me get to where I am, living in those moments. Thank you, Bam. He's a champ.